Hey everyone, it's Regan Grimes here, Primeval Labs athlete, and today I'm going to take you guys through three exercises specifically for building the bicep peak. A lot of the time, uh, depending on genetics, some people can get away with lifting, you know, anything, and they, like any bicep exercise, and they're just, it seems like their biceps grow. Some of us, um, your arms are more of a weak point, and we have a lot of trouble to get them to grow. I find mine a little bit stubborn. I have a, a longer uh, bicep insertion, so you'll find some people have higher bicep insertions, which which usually tends to show a better peak. Uh, when you have a longer, fuller uh, looking bicep, it's it can be thicker, but it doesn't have that that crazy peak like some people. So today I'm going to show you specifically three bicep exercises for building that peak. Okay, so like I was saying, some people can lift um, like a barbell, so with using both their hands and uh, no problem, they can grow no problem. Where I find I have to do more uh, controlled movements and I like to do um, single arm. So first exercise what we're going to do is uh, preacher. Uh, using the machine, I find I always like to start with a machine. Free weights, uh, we, can, we jump into second, but uh, first exercise we'll do here. I like to do about 15 reps to start off. Really get that bicep warmed up. It's a, it's a smaller muscle group and you don't want to uh, risk injury. So you want to make sure you're getting lots of blood in there before we start hitting the heavier weights. So what I like to do is when I get up in here, I, I actually put my tricep down and then I roll it like this. The weight is way too heavy, I can't lift that. 70 pounds, <laughs> not to start anyway. So like I said, tricep down, roll it out there. And then you'll see where I'm sitting. I'm facing this direction. So my, sh my chest is completely opened up to the bicep curl. And now I'm just gonna go like this. You get a crazy stretch. So this is my first exercise that I would suggest you guys do and make sure you get, like I said, lots of blood in there. There's a lot of control when you're using um, a machine, so the risk of injury is very low. Now let's get into the second one. Alright guys, so second exercise. This is one of my favorites and I feel like you get a lot of control, a lot of squeeze and tension in the bicep solely. So first off, you're going to get yourself a bench. This one is a kind of... Uh, not every gym is going to have this one. You can also use the traditional one over here. Uh, it's just like a regular bench incline. So I have it on the incline here. I'm going to hang over. I'm going to get my chest just over top of the bench. And now this is very important. So when you're in this position, I want you to turn your, make sure your elbow is facing out that way. And you have the dumbbell here. First, before I do anything with the weight, I'm letting my shoulder hang. So I'm actually going to get my bicep in the fully stretched position. So it's absolutely just stretched out there. Now I'm going to come up. Boom. So all that tension's in the bicep. Every time I come down with the weight, I want to, in my mind, remember to keep my shoulder down. You'll want to, as soon as it starts getting hard, you're going to start going like this. And it's just terrible. So make sure you keep your shoulder down. You're gonna get that full squeeze. I don't care if the elbow moves a little bit this way. If you're gonna move a little bit in this way, you're gonna be able to contract even a little bit harder. Or if you keep your elbow straight where it is, that's fine. Boom. Like I feel that like crazy and I've only done a couple reps. Make sure you're turning the dumbbell. To really get that peak. go yeah guys definitely give this one a try and I'm gonna show you the third one all right guys just a quick reminder I'm sure if you're watching this video you're probably familiar with the primeval labs products if not just want to let you know the mega pre is a pre-workout so this is something that I took before this workout and uh, what it does is it's all pumped so there's no stimulants there's a little bit of focus in there you're gonna get focused but you're not gonna have that like caffeine you're not gonna get shaky you're not gonna um, be what if people get itchy from some pre-workouts all you're gonna get is a little bit of focus and a crazy amount of blood flow so you're gonna be able to get a maximum pump when we're in the gym here and we're doing this arm workout 
the idea is to get the most amount of blood into the muscle and that's what's going to allow those the muscles to expand and we're going to get that overall size in the end so highly recommend mega free this is uh, something i take every single workout this is a smash berry flavor uh, there's tons of other flavors too you can't go wrong they all taste bomb third exercise this is a really good one uh, big big stretch and you're going to get maximum amount of blood in here to finish off the workout so as we see we started with a machine and we went to a freeway and now we're onto the cables i like to have a nice variation through my workouts so this is just that first off we're going to start standing up i'm going to straighten my arm as much as i can i've got it back and i've got my my right foot where the side that i'm lifting the weight is directly behind where the cable is coming from so i'm able to keep that elbow tight to my body so what i want to do keep the elbow tight to the body but drive my hand outwards so you'll see boom, you'll see that so i'm trying to keep my elbows tight to the body my hand outwards Make sure you finish off with this one. Uh, for sets and reps for each of these, I always do one warm-up set, so about 12 to 15 reps, and then I hit about three working sets. So those are usually aiming for around 12 reps. So if you wanna hit a total of four uh, sets for each exercise and uh, three working sets of 12 reps, that'll be enough for your arm day. So. All right guys, so those are three exercises for building the better bicep peak. What you wanna do for those, uh, each exercise, First set of each one, there's four total sets for each exercise. What you want to do is 15 reps for the first one. Make sure you get that, that uh, form. Make sure you're getting blood into the muscle. And then you go a little bit heavier. So three working sets after that, where you're going to go as heavy as you can, making sure you're keeping good form, but going for about 12 repetitions. So, all right, I got a little bonus for you guys. Of course, on arm day, uh, this isn't going to help you with the peak, but what it does help you with is is the thickness and that's the grimy curl so here we go what you do is you get a plate like this you can get one like this or one that has holes where you can put your hands through it you use a preacher bench all the way down stretch and up so this helps with the thickness of the bicep not the peak but hey we need both right All right, guys, so that's it for three exercise tips on building big, bigger bicep peaks. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.